welcome back. Hello, my YouTube family and friends. Welcome back to the channel. My name is John Maddox, a.k.a. John the Baptist. So somebody asked, why John the Baptist? Well, maybe because I attended a Baptist church almost all my life. But I think it's more so because I just don't have an opinion about anything anymore. Simply because I found that my opinion means nothing compared to God's word. When talking with people and asked to give my opinion about this, that, or the other, I almost always default to God's word about it, because God always has the last say about anything. For example, just recently I was asked, what's my stand on abortion? Well, God says, thou shall not kill. What's my view on homosexuality? God says, thou shall not lie with mankind as with womankind. It's an abomination. So I say and believe what God says, and maybe they won't shoot the messenger. I don't know. I just deliver the news. I didn't write it. But the one thing I can depend on with God's news, it's not fake news. It's the truth. That says, I'm also the co-founder and CEO of two organizations my lovely wife, Levita, and I started. And I want to tell you a little something about them and the reason we started them and why we need your support. The first one is the National Urban Artist Change Program, the NUACP. The second one is the Black Ministers American Gun Association, both based here in Atlanta, Georgia, where my wife and I call home. The NUACP began as an organization dedicated to helping young aspiring artists, rappers in particular, helping them to understand the importance and responsibilities they have when given a platform for expressing themselves. You see, I learned early in life the power of the spoken word. And as a minister and student of the Bible, I found that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. In other words, the faith it takes to believe anything God has to say must reach the ear gates of the hearer to be believed. So to believe God's word, it must be heard. However, that said, this must be said, my friends. Don't miss this. We all have a mutual spiritual and lethal enemy. His name is Satan. And he uses the same principle I just mentioned found in Romans 10, 17. The principle of faith comes by hearing. Only he uses it to his advantage. And there are only three reasons that Satan dwells here on this earth. And they are to kill, to steal, and destroy. In other words, everything that God created, he's out to destroy. And that includes the family infrastructure, especially the black family. For God said it is not good for man to be alone, so he created Eve, his wife, to help him procreate, multiply, and spread his seed all over the earth. But I notice that there is a target on the back of black men, beginning with our children. The black man has become an endangered species. A vast many of us are incarcerated or in the grave. Many of our black young men in the inner city counted a blessing to live to be 25 years of age. Many of them 15 years of age are fathers. You ask, what do you want to be when you grow up? And the answer is, I am grown. Or what do you want to be when you grow up? Alive. If you've been paying attention, look at how many commercials exploit interracial relationships now, where you see our black women with white men promoting the black woman. It's just another way of casting a shadow on black manhood. Need I say more about that? It's by design. Furthermore, Satan knows the word of God better than any preacher walking. Every word that God spoke or wrote, Satan knows. He knows, for example, Romans 10, 14. How can they hear without a preacher? So just like God has preachers to speak and proclaim his word in our nation's pulpits and airways, God's word that's sharper than any two-edged sword, God's word that holds the power to reprove, rebuke, and instruct in righteousness, God's word that saves the lives of all that will hear, believe, and obey it, for it is the power of God unto salvation. Satan knows that if he can teach, mold, and give monetary rewards, for the love of money is the root of all evil, give monetary rewards, 
Satan knows if he can mold and teach his own special brand of preachers to speak his word and deliver his destructive messages, keep it veiled and hidden behind a beat or a rhythm in the guise of partying. <laughs> yeah, let's turn up, y'all. He knows if he can keep it going and keep it hidden, he can destroy generation after generation after generation. Well, he found just who he was looking for. But so it can remain clandestine and hidden. He had to change the name, but not to protect the innocent. He had to change the name to destroy the ignorant because he knows that God's people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. He changed the name and moniker from preachers to rappers. And instead of messages, he calls them songs. And we bit. We're now snared, hook, line, and sinker. It's one of his greatest weapons and his best kept secret. And if we don't wake up Sooner or later, we'll be met with sudden destruction, the likes of which we've never seen before. This is the primary goal of the NUACP. We accomplish this by using positive psychology and, of course, the word of God. Because whatever the methodology, everything must begin and end with the word of God. He is the alpha and the omega, the beginning and the end. We place new artists on anti-bullying, positive, uplifting campaigns, showcasing their talents for right and righteousness, rewarding them with free studio time, promoting them and their music, shining a light on positivity, the positivity they bring to their schools, communities, and the world. Our plan is to flip the script showing the ones in our system that are targeting young blacks, so-called thugs, showing them that they are not all bad, just like not all of our law enforcement officers are bad, showing them that when given the opportunity to do good, they will. So in a nutshell, this is the main focus of the NUACP. Additionally, we offer various training courses for those of whom that would not be able to afford it, such as HVAC, emergency medical uh, technician training, first-time homeowner classes, and offering assistance to those who need help with rent and utilities. The NUACP offers a hand up, not a hand out. Now for the Black Ministers American Gun Association. Let me begin by reiterating the fact that we aren't doing enough to train up our children in the fear and nurture of the Lord. So the vast majority would not have strayed from the faith if we did, from God and godliness. For it is God himself who says, train up a child in the way he should go. And when he's old, he will not depart from it. Most of our young black ministers of noteworthy acclaim are busy not seeking those who, uh, saving those who are lost, but preaching to the choir and those already in the church. They show up when there's an unjust police killing of one of our children, and, and they, but they're doing so to promote themselves. And I call it chatter for cheddar. Where are they when D-Dog shoots J-Rock? You see where I'm going with this? Our children are not being taught that bad decisions have bad or worse consequences, especially when it comes to gun violence. They don't understand that when there's no God, there's no peace. We will teach them gun laws, and more than that, more than how to use a gun, we'll teach them how not to, concentrating more on emotional intelligence and anger management. We'll be on the front line, not the background, ministering to parents that have lost children, ministering to siblings whose brother or sister was lost to gun violence. You see, in order to peacefully and prayerfully stop the cycle of gun violence, we must be visible and willing to get our hands dirty. If we step up, then if we help curb the gun violence we're seeing in today's inner cities, perhaps our Second Amendment rights will not be stripped from us because believe me, it will begin there and if successful, the next time it'll be our civil rights. When your rights are taken, you'll notice that black people will be the ones affected most and adversely. We aim to be just as visible as law enforcement in order to keep them in check, promoting community awareness and a fair, equitable use of authority. We will show that we're not all bad, as well as teaching our children that not all police and law enforcement are bad. 
We must begin to teach our children that if you do dirt, you get dirt and you can't do wrong right. We'll begin by training our children, not only what the consequences are when you transgress man's law, but the consequences of transgressing God's law are much greater. We'll teach them about this three letter word that nobody wants to address anymore, sin. What is it? And what happens when you live in it? For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus. Then we can begin to curb the gun violence in our country, but we can't do it without God. I want to give a shout out to Hood Educated. I love your channel and I hope you're watching. Also, I would love to dialogue with you. I want to give a shout out to Philip Smith, the founder and president of the African American Gun Association. I applaud you on your efforts to educate the country and black people the world over about gun ownership and most especially the history of African Americans when it comes to gun and gun rights. Please feel free to contact me info at nuacp.org. If I've said anything to raise the awareness of anyone or whether you like or dislike anything I said, please let me know in the comment section. And please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification icon for future insightful videos. Also, you can donate to the channel, which would be greatly and desperately needed and appreciated and a blessing. I've undergone seven debilitating back surgeries, and please pray for me, for I'm just learning to walk all over again. And pray for my wife that God would grant her the continuing strength to care for me during this trying period of our lives. But thank God, sometimes he has to sit you down to raise you up again. So like, subscribe, hit the notification icon, leave a comment. It's very important that I hear from you. And remember, I love you, but God loves you more. And thanks for listening.